Yo, my name is Camille, also known as View Vintage on Instagram, viewvintage.com, check it out. Uh, Camille's Nike on eBay if you're coming from eBay. Today, I will be showing you my entire collection of Nirvana t-shirts, all the t-shirts that I ever wanted from the two years ago. I started collecting these. Um, I will show them all to you in as quickly pace as possible. I'm making this intro too long. Leave a comment in the comment section with which Nirvana t-shirt is your favorite? Let's start this video off by showing you some cool tees. First tee off of the rack, I'm not really sure how high I can bring this up or down, but is the Nirvana Sliver tee, also confused as the Silver tee, but it's Sliver. It's like a single, um, I'm gonna bring it up close. We have the Acme tag made in Australia. It's uh, a little bit of a stranger tag for uh, Nirvana tees, but there is a lot of Acme. Acme tees, uh, Nirvana tees on um, Acme tags from Australia. Anyway, uh, this is a really cool one. Colors are super vibrant. The pink, the purple, the blue. It smacks hard. Uh, it's got a cool back. It's kind of the shortest tee on the rack. It's got this boxy fit, but I really dig it. Tee number two is the vestibule tee. This is probably my least favorite t-shirt from the rack, mainly because of the back. If you can read that, if it's not in reverse, I'm not sure if it is in reverse, but not really the biggest fan, but I'm a collector of this stuff, so you'll never see me wear this t-shirt, but I will have it and I will hide it in these bins for as long as I own it. Um, I'll bring it up close so you can take a look at it. I like the front of it. The back is just a little beyond my beliefs. Uh, giant large by TJ's. Single stitch all around. Pretty cool tee. Least favorite though from the nine that I have here. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Tee number three is the smiley tee. Oop, let me go back. This is like the super long, the longest one up on the rack. From the shortest, the long, actually there's, there's a stop, stop, spot in between. Anyway. This is the most iconic, I think, Nirvana graphic. It's uh, a legendary print. I've seen this print literally everywhere. Uh, Target, Walmart, you see this t-shirt literally everywhere. It's got the cool back print on the back. You can read it, I'm gonna get up close. This one has a sleeve hit. It's a David Griffin Company on the sleeve right there, single, obviously. It's on the Hanes Beefy XL. Really cool tag. Uh, neat tee. Um, it's like the classic one. Everyone's got this one. Like the staple. But this is the original one. And my favorite tee off of the rack is the Nevermind uh, promo tee. It's got the baby in the pool chasing that, that dollar, that money. Uh, we got the track list on the back. Uh, this is one of the cheapest ones. Yeah, this is probably the cheapest one I got. I got it for 150 bucks. Uh, it's on the probably the least desirable tag, but this anvil tag, but and it's double stitched on the top and the bottom. But I really love the way that this t-shirt fits. It's just so like drapey and even the side seam is cool to me. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's the price that I pay that makes me like this t-shirt so much. I'm more of a get the lowest deal, like the t-shirt most kind of guy. Like I like finding the deals and I got a deal on this one. So I think that might be why I like this one particularly more than the other ones I overpaid for. I didn't overpay, I, pay, I paid a lot for him, but I didn't pay market price today for him. So I guess I underpaid for him at the time I paid market for him. Okay. If that makes any sense, because these t-shirts got really expensive, really fast, ever since the, the whole COVID thing. Um, we got the Anvil Giant tag right here, the Come As You Are, the colors on this are crazy. We got two seahorses here, there's another seahorse tee I will show you in a moment. This one is, uh, got this faded grayish color to it. Like, these are all black tees, but none of them look the same. The wash, the fade, uh... The size, the shape, the neck, everything is so different for all of these tees that like I feel like that's what makes vintage so 
so amazing is because each piece is literally unique. It's, it's not like anything um, that is like already out there. You know, it could be the same print, but like it's not gonna crack the same way, you know? And like all of these little details, like I love the details and I love, a lot of people love the details. I'm a sucker for the details. Like this is, this is really art to me. This is more than just t-shirts. It's really art. I think it's beautiful. Um, another seahorse tee after my small little rant about how beautiful these t-shirts are. Um, uh, you got a male seahorse giving birth to baby seahorses. You can read the back right over here. Um, pause the video if you must. Uh, this is at the bottom. It says, yeah, this was a Nirvana shirt and this really dark purple color. You can hardly see it, but this is the only Nirvana t-shirt that doesn't scream Nirvana on the front. Um, yeah, other than like the baby, but this is Nirvana at the bottom. But like, this is the only low key, like if you didn't know this was a Nirvana t-shirt, you would never know this is a Nirvana t-shirt if you didn't read that small blended in purple color to the black. Like this is, a, this is the most low key Nirvana tee, probably the least favorite Nirvana tee by the collectors because a lot of the a lot of the people like the the loud ones. Like I'll show you the next one is probably the loud. Let's just go to the next one because you know like people aren't too crazy about this. this. Is probably the least favorite, and we're gonna go from the least favorite to the most favorite. Actually, my bad. I didn't really see. I thought the heart shape. Actually, let's just skip. You know because I was talking about it so much. From the least favorite to the most favorite. Uh, I know I skipped the white tee. I'll get to it in a second, but. The heart-shaped box tee, people are going nuts for the all-over 90s print tees, especially this one. Oh, I gave into the hype. I think I bought this late 2019, early 2020, somewhere around there. I paid $950 for this. This was the most expensive t-shirt I bought at the time. And I didn't buy it in hopes that it would double in price. I just genuinely enjoyed the t-shirt. Yeah, it was a hyped up t-shirt. It was a thousand dollars, you know, like I get it. But I really did like, really love this t-shirt just the way, I mean, how can you not love it? It's got hearts on it. You know, it's, it's, it's a t-shirt made for love. It's got this giant heart. It's got hearts all over it. How can you not love it? But the price is gone. Um, crazy you know ever since the COVID thing the prices have just gone absolutely insane it's on the soft this is probably the most desirable version it's single stitch on the top and the bottom 1993 like this is the this is it pretty much this is this is the one that everyone wants market is insane uh i'm glad i purchased it when i did because it's completely out of my price range i would never be able to afford um this t-shirt in today's market so Happy I got it. All right, we skipped one, and it is the Nirvana in Utero t-shirt. It's got the angel on the front. Actually, um, it's got the angel on the back of this one on the heart, because this is the single from this album. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, I went through hell trying to get this t-shirt, 1993 um, on the Giants single um in utero on the back so i purchased this t-shirt in not this one but this print late 2019 early 2020 i think it was 2020 for 270 dollars and i thought it was a great deal they were going for like i don't know if they're going for like probably like 400 anyway I pay the $270 and then the guy decides that he changed his mind and refunded me the money the next day. Oh, I was really pissed. I, I hated the t-shirt after that. I was like, I'm never going to get this t-shirt. I hate this t-shirt. This t-shirt's not for me. Anyway, my salty feelings aside, six months later, I buy the t-shirt again from eBay and I paid $650 this time, which is more than double than I paid previously, but market shot up. So I pay market 95% of the time. Anyway, pay the 650 next day, dude messages me saying that <sighs> he's refunding me my money because spending $650 is a waste of money and I could do something better with the $650, like donate it 
or just buy 30 different reprints of this t-shirt, I was just like, what? I was blown away by this message. Like, it was just so ridiculous. Got under my skin. I was super salty. The guy relisted it for a thousand. And I was just like, all right, this tea is out of the ballpark for me. I'm never going to get this tea. And then a month later, another one pops up for $750. I was like, F it. I'm buying it. Paid the guy. And I was just like, fingers crossed. This, I don't get another stupid message. Because if on the third time I get some ridiculous, a refund, I'd be like, I'm never getting the Inuyo t-shirt. And that's it. But third time's a charm. I got the t-shirt. It was a little bit more yellow than it was pictured, but my good friend Bleach cleaned it up and now it's a squeaky clean white tee. Not really squeaky white, but it's pretty white. We're going to skip the heart shape since I just showed it. And we're going to show the final t-shirt, which is the Incesticide t-shirt. T-shirt. Uh, it's on the Anvil Giants. This one's XL, XL. It's got some holes. It's got that grungy look to it. Um, my girlfriend doesn't like this t-shirt. She says it's creepy. I get it. Uh, it's uh, Kurt Cobain painted this and it was for the album. Uh, wanted the black version of this t-shirt, but I couldn't, get, I couldn't get it out of my price range. So I settled with the green one. I'm happy with it. Um, it's an okay tee. Yeah, that's pretty much all the t-shirts. Yes, I didn't skip any. Um, that's all the t-shirts I wanted from the Nirvana set. Um, I know there's a few I'm still missing, but I don't really care too much. The ones I've got are pretty much, pretty much it. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Drop that comment of which one of these is your favorite. If a favorite of yours isn't on this rack, tell me which is your favorite Nirvana tee, vintage Nirvana tee. Don't hit me with those bootlegs, but if you like the bootlegs, let me know about the bootlegs. These are all originals. Anyway, uh, follow me on Instagram at View Vintage. Uh, link in the description. Camille's Nike on eBay. Uh, really appreciate my drums. They have a girl trying to play some drums in here. Uh, Anyway, uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate your time, and I will see you in the next video whenever that is. I have some more collection videos. Check them out. Peace.